is one area of the basement, though, that always makes sense to insulate. And that's what they call the rim joist. And the rim joist is that area of the house where your floor joists come across, rest on the basement wall, and then this, the floor is attached to the top. Okay? This tends to be one of the thinnest areas of your house. And the fact that what heat is in the basement tends to migrate to the ceiling. And that's this right here. So you combine the highest level of heat in the basement with the thinnest part of your house, and you find a significant amount of heat loss through the room joist. Now, room joist, probably the easiest way to insulate it is with fiberglass. Okay? But... Before you insulate your rim joist, you really need to inspect it for gaps, cracks, and holes. Because if there's a, there's no way you're going to get that, right? <laughs> if there's a, a hole where, you know, a cable guy drilled his hole and ran a wire through, and you put insulation over that, it's not really going to do much because that cold air is going to blow through that insulation. All right, so it's important that you air seal that room joist before you put the insulation in there. And sometimes you can use insulation for the air seal. I mean, a rigid board like this styrofoam here, if you were to cut it and, uh, well, can't very easily fit it, but, you know, cut it and caulk it into place and seal around where the wire comes through, this could also be insulation and air sealing combined. All right. So the rim joist is uh, one of those areas that I always recommend people to insulate, but I caution them to air seal it first. And I'm going to talk more about air sealing and rim joist in next week's class.